cops and community throw a barbecue instead of a protest. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com. We've got that story. Plus, just don't look. Just don't look. But first, just one of the reasons we've been doing Good News Next Week outside all summer long, and that is outdoor learning boosts your development. Via Psych Central, outdoor learning has an overwhelmingly positive impact on children's quality of life, according to a new report by professors of education at the University of Plymouth and Western Sydney University. The authors assert that outdoor learning needs to be introduced more formally into global school curricula, and back here in the States you see that it actually is. Kids in 50 cities are getting outside as part of a federal initiative. Now, we're not really down for compulsory anything, but when the feds are trying to force you to get outside, even they probably know that it's good for you, and maybe even they want healthy little slaves. <laughs> this is good news next week, and some of the ways that we are winning includes things from all around the world that aren't always great through and through. Last week we had what we called a lot of double-edged stories, things that aren't perfect, but I think in these episodes we're looking at the ideas and the ideals as ways to look forward. And I really think Frankie uses it as a time to show off. She really starts rolling around and playing around as soon as we start doing these. We had to harvest the beans. It was the 75 days, and hopefully your gardens are going really well as well. And you should tweet those using hashtag good news next week. Our cover story this week was a story tweeted at us. Fantastic. Police in Thailand lay down weapons and join protesters. Upon a little bit of research discovered, that story is actually three years old, but it got me to thinking, there's got to be other examples of basically laying down your arms and joining the people, and indeed, there has been. Yesterday, July 20, or July 17th, rather, in Wichita, instead of a second Black Lives Matter protest, they joined the police for a barbecue. Plans for another BLM protest on Sunday were changed to a community cookout after leaders met with Wichita Police Chief Ramsey the day after last week's demonstration. Ramsey said he and the mayor wanted to raise the money to organize a barbecue for the city's law enforcement professionals and the community at large. Again, lots of ways we can all divide and conquer and argue about a story like this, about who's being used as a pawn and what. But what we're talking about is what we've been cautioning against for quite some time here on Media Monarchy. You can go back through our work for many, 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 many months now. And that is the deadly divide and conquer whose seeds have been planted over the last several years, all now bearing disgusting fruit. As of course, they've got the RNC kicking off this week and a lot of opportunities for people to hate and fight and divide and conquer. And ultimately, we love the idea that the cops will put down their weapons and just get with the people and, you know, maybe start a community garden. Our last story on Good News Next Week is a quick one out of New Zealand. The kebab shop owner ignores a robber. CCTV footage of the incident shows a Christchurch shop owner walk away from a masked man with criminal demands. He actually continues to hand the last person some carry-out takeaway food and walks away. He walks away. Now it makes for funny CCTV footage and they can show it on all the commercial news places and go, oh, isn't that great? But the idea is the important thing. Again, like the Simpsons episode when they're talking about the advertising destroying the town, just don't look. There's a lot of criminals making a lot of demands of all of us. And I think the easiest thing that a lot of us can do is, whether it's the previous story or the very first story, go outside, put down your weapons, pick up a garden tool. That's pretty much it. Some of the other stories we're looking at on hashtag good news next week. Model turned activist grows 500 plants in her New York City apartment. YouTuber shunning and outshining old school television. This just in, the internet destroyed mainstream culture and they're very angry about it. Danish town found a solution to terrorism. An interesting story about what happens when dudes try and run away to join ISIS. And finally, a story we talked about this morning on our Morning Monarchy for July 18th. U.S. overseas military bases losing local support. And this is happening in a lot of different places around the world as a lot of people are waking up to the things going down in their name that they're not really happy about. We can only do this with your support. We are listener-supported media since 2005. MediaMonarchy.com slash support has PayPal and Patreon and Bitcoin and a post office box and a number of ways that you can share some support and just get in touch with us because that's the only way that this is going to work. 
This has been Good News Next Week for the week of July 18th, 2016. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, reminding you, as always, my friends, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care.